there was this roar that it just like an express train or a jet fighter going low and quickly overhead. A desperate search for 20 people after a landslide buries two ski lodges in the Snowy Mountains village of Threadbow. Wednesday, July 30, 1997, the earth gave way. Triggered by leaking water mains, mud thundered down the steep slopes of the Threadbow Ski Resort. Just before midnight, a freak landslide picked up a chalet, sweeping it onto a lodge where senior Threadbow staff were sleeping. Two ski club lodges were destroyed, burying those sleeping inside. 19 people were trapped under debris and tons of concrete. They can hear people calling out. Unfortunately, they can't get to them. They don't really know where they are. It, um, it doesn't look very good. Very damn scared. Seeing we're only like a few lodges up, we thought, are oh, we next to go? We think our boss is stuck under there as well, so it's pretty, um, yeah, it's hard to take. At the time, Stephen Hurst was one of only a handful of firefighters trained in urban search and rescue. The uh, sheer grain in the site was, was phenomenal. You know, it was uh, quite a, um, a high degree of one foot at, at foot level and one around waist level to keep your footing because of the sheer, uh, sheer slope of the site. Hope soon faded of finding anyone alive. For the last three days, rescuers have been digging for survivors. Until this morning, the chances of finding anyone alive were described as remote. That's until firefighter Hurst heard something. I just heard something unfamiliar to this day. I don't know what it was, but something that just shouldn't have been there. And this was in the midst of concrete cutting machinery, chainsaws, you name it, going on. And I turned to my colleague and said, I've heard something. We called for silence on the site and got all the power to shut down and the rest is history. It was the voice of Stuart Diver. We have located definite signs that somebody's alive under the site. Two and a half days after the landslide, a survivor is found in the ruins talking, smiling, barely injured, but in shock. Stuart and his wife Sally became pinned under rubble as they slept. Sally drowned and it soon became a race against time to save Stuart. He was under quite a few slabs of concrete, so of course you couldn't just jackhammer the concrete because it would fall down on him. It had to be, you know, uh, pumpkin cuts to like a plug in a sink to make sure the uh, concrete didn't fall below. We, we could lift it out without it falling on the victim. Then, 65 hours after the tragedy, an amazing story of survival from Threadbow today. 30-year-old ski instructor Stuart Diver pulled from the disaster site alive. And this is uh, quite an emotional time for everyone because it does appear that um, we are finally making contact. Stuart was the only survivor. All the people who have prayed uh, for me and uh, given me so much support over the last couple of days, um, it's been overwhelming and I don't think I would have uh, made it through. 22 years on, the victims are remembered with a series of memorial events on July 30. On the week of the anniversary, the weekly Threadbow Flare Run is dedicated to those who lost their lives.